Dudes, the average kid, back. I got a little free for all on jungle, but I'm um, not gonna talk about the gameplay. I got UKD and bad kids, and we're gonna talk about high school. Uh, obvi I'm obviously not in high school anymore. Kenny's not in high school anymore. Bad kids is just starting high school, but we're gonna talk about where we were in the social spectrum of high school, and also what was our highlight moment. Um, I'm gonna start with Kenny because uh, he graduated. Sometime very very long ago. I don't even know if there's there were papers then <laughs> um, But anyway, uh, Fred Flintstone and Barney Roll. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go ahead Kenny. What was your um, What was your social spectrum? Okay, I was pretty much a floater. Um, I was in gifted and talented classes Which put me in contact with a lot of the sharper what they would call brains and uh, back in my day they had the a group or the popular kids and a lot of those were athletes I played basketball and football for the for the high school I went to and I hung out with those guys but mostly just on the bus to the games or during practices or games and not a whole lot outside of school um my social group was more based on the neighborhood I grew up in all right and uh what was your your highlight moment the uh just the the thing that you always kind of look back and think about man you know that's high school to me in a nutshell I'll tell you, the, the best PG-13 moment I had in high school. PG-13, we're keeping it PG-13 for all the little guys out there. We were actually playing Pikesville, which is one of the uh, schools in Baltimore County, and uh, I had transferred to Lansdowne, and um, in the middle of a basketball game, they had a, a they had a center that was 6'7". I'm, I'm 6'3". At the time, I was like 6'1". And uh, he tried to drive the lane on me, and I got in the air, and I not only blocked him, but I cupped the basketball, threw it across the gym, and slapped it off the far wall. Nice. The entire crowd obviously went, <laughs> and that was my magic moment. That was like like a boss. I, I actually I actually got a little. I listened uh, to no one. <laughs> I, I actually got a little peck on the lips from the my favorite cheerleader on the bus ride home. Ooh. Um, didn't turn into anything, but she was really a sweet girl. Let's get it on. Maybe not that far. <laughs> All right, I'm going to transfer to my high school social spectrum. I was uh, I played sports, so I was I associated with the jocks, but I was kind of a floater as well. I uh, pretty much would talk to anybody. I mean, I was around, you know, those kids obviously for for 4 years, so I uh, I gained uh, pretty good friendships with a lot of people. Um I was kind of I did I had my little punk phase. So I dressed in my my uh, my dickies, and I had my uh, my uh, my etnies or whatever those shoes are called, uh, and chucks and all that stuff, and you know punk shirts. So that was my my kind of my style. Um, short hair because my mom would let me grow my hair out long. Anarchy symbols. No anarchy symbols. No, I was like, I was the. F Although I dressed punk, I was the farthest from punk in any concept because I was straight straight laced as far as like I didn't. Drank. I didn't do anything bad. I was I was a very good kid. Uh, I did well in school. I so I kind of like talked to the brainy kids as well. Um, and my highlight moment, uh, goodness gracious, would have to be I had the hugest crush on this also very punky girl, but cute, um, <laughs> in high school. And uh, it took me till my senior year to finally get the nerve up to like ask her to hang out and I, I finally got to kiss my crush so that was my biggest like yay I did it you know um, yes. breakfast club moment <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna transfer over to bad kids he's just starting high school he is a freshman um, how you liking it so far and what are your what are your high school goals I guess as a freshman uh, I'm liking high school pretty good I mean since we switch up classes every day, there's like that one day with all my favorite classes, and then the next day is just suck. And but it gives you a little bit more freedom. Yeah, yeah. Like we don't have to line up to use the bathroom or anything. Yeah, not that we had to do that in middle school. But, <laughs> uh, and I guess my goals are kind of to have good grades, like go into a good college, like have a good GPA at the end of the year. Well, yeah, that's good. You plan on playing any sports? Uh, maybe football next year, but I'm doing out of school football right now. I'm gonna play on the lacrosse team. So. Oh, nice, nice. Sweetness. I have no idea. I've never watched lacrosse, or I have no idea how it works. Um, Greatest but... game ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, awesome. And uh, yeah, we're gonna follow up with you in high school. Uh, cause I think uh, I think a lot of the viewers, at least most of the kids that watch my videos, are probably about that age. 
and I think they'd like to kind of see how you're doing, uh, any trials or tribulations, and uh, so forth. Yeah, I've already had one. I came out of the lunch line and spilled my uh, chili all over the floor in front oh, of me. Oh, nice embarrassing moment right off the bat. That's nice. That's Not the way on me, eat. but all over the floor in front of me. And then but I everybody knew? Anybody clap? Uh, I think a few people at the nearest table did. Nice, I love it when people do that. Um, anyway, the game's about to wind up. And I uh, just wanted to say, hey, uh, leave a comment uh, about maybe uh, what your high school social group was and uh, maybe your triumphing moment. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Um, peace out. Catch you on the flip side and whatnot. See ya. See ya.